You know, I, I've always, um, I've always been a fan of the disaster genre, and I think one of the reasons why is kind of like that harkens back to like the, the sort of the classic campfire tales, um, where you would talk about the things that scared you, and the fears that you have, and the anxieties that you have, and in through storytelling, you work through that. You work through that trauma or the or the or the fears, but in a, within a community, you're sharing that with um, your fellow colleagues, your families, your friends. And that was the sensation that I got when I read the book, is that this was just a campfire tale of our times. And, um, and, 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 you know, for me, visualizing the film as a disaster film, which I guess disaster films are all pretty much Camp, these campfire tales, but the monster is the unknown, is the not knowing, and that's the connection that I had uh, when at the time was the pandemic, where we were really in the dark, um, and it was the not knowing that was that was the part that scared us the most, but also what started to divide us, um, and I love that we sort of inverted the disaster film kind of formula, because disaster films are usually like, that's centered on these big set pieces, right? And the characters typically are, are secondary. Not that that's a knock, I love disaster films, The Day After Tomorrow is one of my favorites, even though I'm a little biased, because my wife's in it. Um, but, um, but I just thought this could be an interesting opportunity to flip that around and make the, make the characters uh, the center of the story and the disaster elements are more often the 